find a way to run From the city of the sun You could have stayed, it's only over when the day is done I never knew you was a runner, yeah And I mistook you for a son It don't matter what we think when it's all Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. Happy. New. 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 Today is May 8th, 2022. It is uh, 4.16 a.m. I wasn't going to record today, but um, I uh, couldn't sleep. Everybody's sleeping. The house is quiet. And today's Mother's Day. So there were some tweets that I was recording last night and I was starting to fall asleep. So I just left. So I'm going to pick up where I left off. Okay, so this is my back end. All right, let's check this one as well. My back end. And I see I have new members, new members, welcome. And uh, let's go on Twitter and see what's going on. Okay, so this is some of the things here. Okay, the reception at the Invictus. Okay, spell this one. Invictus Games got them shook. Yeah, because the Invictus was very successful. This I sort of added today. There's like a couple tweets that I add. I added to the list from yesterday but um, last night what I wanted to do was just record and then when I get up edit but um, I didn't finish record and I went on Twitter see what's new and I added some and this is one of them okay oh yes it did Harry and Megan all right so that's that not a lot of response let's go to the next tweet and there's this again I added that as well okay no amount of propaganda spun by the British media and royalists can undo the reality that Harry and Meghan were invited quote banning and quote them from the balcony only assures the focus will be on who's not there <laughs> more importantly it emphasizes how threatened the royal family remain of the allure of Harry and Meghan royals 
Uh, yesterday, I took some part. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it on the part that I recorded last night. Um, yesterday, I put uh, like a 20 minutes video and I took it out from the parts that I recorded in the morning of how I felt the uh, the Sussexes uh, in terms of going to the UK with the kids. I'm not saying it happened. It's just my hum humble opinion. And I'm saying, based on my humble opinion, I just think that they went already. Okay, some of the comments that I get is that Harry and Meghan would not lie to us, which is very understandable. Okay, so don't take my words at face value. And this is why the comment section is always open, where you either agree or disagree and this one a lot of you were disagreeing with me i most of them i respond i say i i understand okay so this is that let's see some of the comments look at her he's looking at her uh 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 <laughs> okay let's put a like harry refused to do the balcony the voter will be there the media is lying as usual i wonder what they're saying okay who in their right mind wants to be waving at people when the cost of living is so high in the uk that the elderly have to ride on buses all day because they can't afford to sit in the homes because it's so expensive to warm their homes so lots of jubilee stuff and shops not sold so oh okay in terms of the high cost of living in the uk i understand that i understand that but some of the other things i'm not aware of if people in the UK, the squads in the UK don't mention it, but this one, I was not aware of that. I mean, it's, if you put one and one together, it's pretty much, yeah, uh, people are struggling to put food on the table. Why will they spend the extra cash on Jubilee stuff? Uh, and then when the monarch don't even care about you that much. Let's see here. It's really, really bad. Huh. Okay, even I will waste a penny buying some Jubilee stuff. People are only happy for the long weekend. Oh, so it's a they make it a, like a long holiday because of that. Okay, people are only happy for the long weekend. Most are annoyed if they are on zero hour. The rest can even afford to eat and pay bills. Yeah, that I'm aware of. I've put some stuff regarding that. Okay, to be honest. But there's a video that I have where the guy is, uh, I think he's like one of those uh, financial experts where he was explaining how bad the situation is. And as an expert, financial expert, he can't really help like the way that the country have turned into. I'll put the clip here. Look at the fact that just <coughs> on energy alone, on a conservative estimate within one year, we're talking £1,300 a year going up in bills. We're going to have about 10 million people in fuel poverty. We have a real absolute, not relative poverty issue going to come in the UK with food banks oversubscribed, with debt crisis agencies do not have any tools. And I need to say, with the Chancellor coming on in a moment, if you could give me, as the money saving expert who's been known for this, I am virtually out of tools to help people now. To be honest, the Queen knows that Harry and Meghan and Andrew will get booze, so she's avoiding that for them all. That, not Harry, not Harry and Meghan, the Andrew part. This is what I think. Her test uh, with Andrew was the Philip Memorial. When she realized she was getting negative coverage about that, and this is where she scrapped the, uh, for the other non-working royals to pop up on the balcony so that was the test so this is why they put that only working royals because i come across a tweet yesterday where one of them said uh, uh, should there be another balcony just for harry and megan because the real brits wants to see them okay so don't i'm not going by the tabloid okay no doubt harry and megan will make a documentary over being left out mm, nah it's probably if they're being um, interviewed, let's say for, uh, like, say f like the Hoda interview, for instance, where she asked him about the family and different things uh, that's not part of the Invictus. It's a similar kind of interview where they might in um, ask Harry about the Jubilee kind of thing. Harry's not going to, I'm pretty sure he was the one who said, I'm coming, but I'm not going to be at the balcony because there are things that I'm hearing. How some people feel, you know, the people with the mic in the UK, literally saying that, you know, I, when he said it, I bleep it out. 
if they were at the balcony. So these people with the mic and doyuke have ill intention. So why will Harry wants to be at the balcony risking his life? Okay, so Harry doesn't care about the freaking balcony. Okay, no doubt Harry and Meghan will make the documentary over being left out. Uh, but even the Queen, first and second grandchildren are not going onto the balcony. I support her decision. Okay, so people will boo on the Queen's special day. How pathetic. <laughs> This one is a hater. There's no way. Uh, nah. Okay, that's not a squad. Okay, my thought exactly. These two are icon. They will never go away. It does not matter where they are in the world. Okay, well said. There's a clap. Another word, I think what the queen tried to do, another aspect of that with what I've said in the other uh, video where some of you disagree, where I said that... Um, Harry probably already met the Queen. He probably may not be in the UK. All right. Some of you disagree with that. That's fine. The other thing that I could see in terms of why the Queen invite Harry, it could easily be that she wants to make sure Harry is not doing anything else on that same day to overshadow her. So in other words, she wants Harry in the same space as her. So Harry doesn't uh, make news in the US and then all the tabloid will be talking about him. That's another thing too. Okay. Again, this is my humble opinion. Okay. Vobish, after her, they have both slated the royal family. She does, she does right. And why should they profit from it? Princess and children are went there and Peter was the first grandchild. <laughs> As I read this, I'm look, I'm thinking of that video that I came across. I don't think I have it saved specifically. It's in one of my tweet videos where Anne uh came with baby was it baby peter and when she's about to sit on the couch the dog hop on the couch and the, <laughs> the queen held the dog instead of the baby okay so that's how the queen is with her grandchildren okay andrew's daughter aren't there at the end of the day they aren't responsible for their father okay whatever Okay, <laughs> making excuses, whatever. I think it's Harry who said, I'm coming, but I'm not going to be at the balcony. And then she come with the realization because Andrew is not, you know, is not very well liked in the UK. So she said only working boys. Okay, she wants her positive jubilee thing to go. Okay, find someone who looks at you as adoringly as Harry looks at Meghan. Definitely. Okay, they were begged to come. Uh, the British royal family need their star power to maintain some level of relevancy. That is true. Hope the Queen is paying them as much as she paid to keep the criminal sexual deviant out of jail. Imagine if on that day there are more crowd at Windsor laying flowers at Fragmore Gate for Lily's birthday. Can you imagine this? Can you imagine this? That would be something. Okay, abolish the monarchy. LOL, please. Queen Elizabeth II did Harry and Meghan tremendous favor. What? Actually, they removed them from their comfort because Harry is booked. Is booked with polo and different things that he's doing in the US. As, well, just for the kids' sake, I would say uh, that's the only thing. But other than that, I think Harry and Meghan are fine the way they are living. Okay, tremendous saving them from booze and what and put. <laughs> This one is kidding herself. Let's go to the next tweet. Harry will be booze. Look, look, just look at the Invictus, okay? Just look at the Invictus. It is my distinguished honor to introduce someone that I think you'll all be very excited to hear from. He has also spent many late nights and early mornings planning for these games to make them as perfect as possible for each of you. I could not love and respect him more, and I know that all of you feel the same, because he is your fellow veteran, having served two tours of duty in Afghanistan and ten years of military service. He's the founder of the Invictus Games, 
and the father to our two little ones, Archie and Lily. Please welcome my incredible husband, Prince Henry of the But what I remind him is that no matter what you want to be when you grow up, it's your character that matters most. And nothing would make his mum and me prouder than to see him have the character of what we see before us today. You. Okay, these are people who refuse to see the fact. All right, let's see this one. Okay, we'll bring this back again to remind ourselves as we enter the Jubilee season. Okay, so this is old, 2 minutes and 15 seconds, and that will be the last video on Harry Polo Balcony. And I remember yesterday's video, which is the first part of this video, because I'm going to combine them. There was a video of him with somebody else talking. So let's see what this week is about. So just listen to this, because I, I, I've egged it so much that you might fear I've over-egged it, but I don't think I have. I, I think this is quite, quite brilliant, and it's it's uh, it, it was written in response to, to our clip, actually, about the weird dislike of Prince Harry and his wife and, and where it comes from. And a lot of people are unhappy with the observation that her ethnicity is one of the most obvious reasons to distinguish between her and other female members of the royal family. But um, uh, So the Twitter account is called Royal Suitor, and as with so much online, I, I don't know what's... Um, what's real and what's not but the byline on this is 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 rs lock what i think uh, i think i've seen this before royal Sudo, i think did a was it an article where she explained the hierarchy of things and when it first came out i compare it with what i said in the video with the uk flag about the firm i think that's the way i call my video <laughs> Mike came out first, but when I heard that, I think this is it, but let's continue. Listen, I need to stop somewhere, by the way, so I don't get Pay flagged. attention. This is really important. It's only a three-minute read, and, I, and I, I'll share it with you now, because I felt pennies dropping as, as never before when I read this. So we'll start at the top again. I might do my Jack and Ori voice for this. All right, I won't. Imagine a society founded on a class structure with the brackets white, closed brackets, and the brackets are important, British royal family at the top as determined by birth and by blood, right? Don't have to imagine it, that's what we've got. It's mm -hmm. not a matter of opinion, that's a matter of historical fact. A biracial woman enters the top of the pyramid by marriage, negating both the birth and blood requirements society had previously been told were preconditions. Because she lacks those prerequisites, she's considered unworthy. Because she's proud of her own heritage and regards herself as equal to others at the top of the pyramid, she's considered ungrateful. The town criers called out from the lower tiers of the pyramid, I've never met her, but I look at her and I think, I don't think I'd like you in real life, said one. <laughs> we Brits prefer true royalty to fashion royalty, proclaimed another. These are direct quotes from prominent columnists and commentators. We oh, this is very interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, um, I think it was that particular thing, but anyway, that's a good part. Okay, yes, and this actually what they are walking back into. Nothing has changed other than more are on the list as haters. I wish Harry would just go get his granny and just bring her to his house because no one can just come to his house like some of the crazies that breaks into. <laughs> okay, let's see here. If he can, I am sure he would, but that won't be allowed. The monarch has to live in the country, plus the queen no longer travels abroad. She stopped years ago. Harry and Meghan have more support as well. It's just that empty vessels make the most noises. <laughs> Perfect time. Can we have the full video, please? Abolish the monarchy. Let's see. Harry and Meghan are loved by the world. A lovely and lovable couple. The hell with the racism and the royal family. Some British media outlet. Shame on you. Let's see here. I fear for Meghan, Harry, and the kids. You got people close to Charles and Camilla calling for Harry and Meghan to be... There's the word. I, I was afraid to do that. But right now, the world is watching. 
Okay? And the U.S. have a president who is pretty much a Harry and Meghan friend. Not friend. They are pretty much friend. Okay? So, the U.K., I hope they have white people around them. I don't know. Okay? Let's hope Harry and Meghan survive the Jubilee. <laughs> Okay, they will definitely survive the jubilee because I know they will stay focused on the queen and on achieving whatever goal they set for themselves. Trust them. They are wise, but those idiots are going to try them. Remember how Harry handled them at Princess Diana's unveiling. Okay, absolutely correct. And I hope as soon as that thing is done, they fly right back. They fly right back because you know who's the leaky faucet over there. Huh? And he has no shame, by the way. All right, next tweet. And this is about the Cambridges. I have one, two, three, four, five tweets on that. And then after that, a prayer. And I think it's the Sussex Squad prayer. Kate Middleton is being criticized for speaking about mental health issues that pregnant women, after Meghan Markle said, the palace ignore her struggles. I mean, this is the thing that pretty much sort of got me to focus this channel to focus on them. Because the kind of negativity that I was seeing uh, on the tabloid and none of them especially with Sophie where I came to find out that she had a miscarriage and then I'm like look at that a pregnant woman right now you at that time you know why wasn't she uh, supporting of her uh, these were the things that I was saying that got me focused deeper into the Sussexes and then this one came to find out they are pa part of the pain that they were adding to Harry and Megan's. This is a shame. Okay, this biatch uh, should just go away. And then there was something, a tweet that I came about, about the mental health thing. Again, I know this tweet is about mental health. And I'm like, these people, when they talk about mental health, it's just run away. Run far away from them because they are the type who will put you into a mental institution. I think I'm probably one of those who did the quote retweet. Uh, she should be. They knew she was struggling while pregnant with Archie. They also allowed their employee to testify against her. That's the, um, the copyright case. And accuse her of being a bully while she was pregnant with Lily. <laughs> she's a big hypocrite. And everyone can see she's not interesting in pregnant women. Okay, she's only interested in getting that crown on her head. <laughs> She'll be surprised. Uh, you know, people sometimes who work so hard to get certain things, but in an unethical way, they'll be surprised. They may, they work so hard for it, but as soon as they're about to get it, it's going to be grabbed right from their hand. Of course, Kate did nothing to help. She was a major source of the abuse by allowing Megan to be eviscerated for a lie that Kate either let stand or encourage. According to Valentine Law, everybody at the palace knew, so no one there can claim ignorance. KKK, okay, you know whose responsibility it was to seek help if she indeed needed it, hers. I mean, then her husband, and I think that's what they did. Yeah, this one is right, and they did exactly that. When they asked the firm for help and the firm did not help them, what did they do? They removed themselves from the uh, toxicity that was causing them pain. Where are they living now? So if this is trying to do the other way, they now living in the U.S. So they have a better life right now. Or how about her, what's that, SW mother. Okay, Megan Marco has an entire team of medical staff. I don't, that medical staff that was in the U.K. W were, yes sir, this type of people. So when she gave birth, she made sure she didn't use the doctors that were over there. I mean, you could turn a blind eye, pretend things doesn't happen. And even after she gave birth, there were some issues. They were going after her baby. Okay, these people are monsters. <laughs> like this uh, one of the tweets that I came across where this guy was saying the reason why. Uh, let me see if I find that uh, clip. All right? Because these people are monsters, literally. Dear white women, what the fuck is your purpose, huh? What the fuck is your purpose, huh? What the fuck is your purpose? Other than ruining the motherfucking casserole, what the fuck is your purpose other than voting against your better interests? What the fuck is your purpose other than running the motherfucking coals with expired coals cash knowing damn well that shit been expired since 2010? Talk about I want to speak to your manager. I want to buy something for my Timothy. It should be so be good. It seems like every year white women just keep getting worse. Aren't they getting worse? If you look at the electorate, white women continue to vote for Republicans. Every year it keeps going up. It keeps going up. So my question is, 
Why the fuck should we trust a lily white hoe? White women can't be trusted. Well, no, Kenny, don't be so mean to them. You know, white suburban women are going to get it together. No, you're not. If you ain't got it together then, you ain't going to get it together now. Y'all didn't even vote for your own white sister Hillary. Why the fuck should we trust white women? And the thing that's really pissing me off is we continue to call all these white women while we keep shitting on black women. We keep shitting on black voters. But we always put all this stock into white women that are never going to fucking show up for us. That's continue to vote against their own better interests. Because why the fuck? And, when I, and this is the other shit that it pisses me off. Well, shouldn't we blame white men just as much as we blame white women? Maybe. But here's the bullshit that I have a problem with that is... I understand why white men are voting, because white men are voting for their own better interests, which is keeping power, patriarchy. It makes sense. But why the fuck do a white woman think that she even has a motherfucking say? If, he, if she's constantly voting for a white man who's telling her that you don't have agency over your own fucking body. And the reason why y'all don't want to teach critical race theory is not about what's going on in the past, it's what's going on in the motherfucking present. The thing that's confusing me is how the fuck can you hide what's in motherfucking plain sight? We see your lily white racist ass through the motherfucking winter. Hi, I'm Carolyn, and I want you blackies to know that niggers in this neighborhood have curfew, okay? So when the street lights come on, make sure you're in your home, because if you're hanging, you will be swinging. Let's keep it a hundred, let's keep it a buck. The real reason why these white people don't want their kids to learn about critical race theory is because they don't want their kids to grow up knowing that their parents are fucking monsters. Every fucking day, you guys wake up early in the motherfucking morning, look yourself in the mirror, and you know you ain't shit. You know you're a racist piece of shit. And you don't want your kids to know that you're a fucking monster. And the difference between me and these other niggas is guess what? I don't give a shit about telling you, bitch. Okay, and she didn't mention to any one of them she was feeling blue. Oh, okay, this is the, the, the tabloid narrative that she's spending here. Let me see uh, four of the comments. You clearly don't understand how the firm works. Diana suffered for years. Okay, Marco was only there two years max. If you count and all her holidays, you obviously have no idea how the firm works. Okay, it was Marco's response. Well, she did, let's just say, I'm not even going to read that hater. She did what she had to do okay she no longer live in the uk so she got her mental health back and she did what she had to do let's see six women you said like carol is is looking now for kate mental health because kate need help now <laughs> who is helping her okay <laughs> ah, let me leave that topic <laughs> hypocrite kate yeah that's exactly that uh, you got those haters trying to make excuses changing uh the narrative like these things then happen okay so at least we know the outcome okay her husband and herself saw the wrong and guess what they did they removed themselves from the toxicity environment and then they put themselves in an environment where they feel more comfortable all right next week prince william and kate Middleton want to scrap royal title and use first name and royal revolution <laughs> source claim my goodness i think i oh i wanted to uh let's go back to that tweet can i all right let's see from the quote tweet if i see mine oh i didn't see it i thought i respond to it okay let's go back to the tweet that i next one okay so there's that prince william and kate Middleton want to scrap a royal title and use first name and royal revolution source claim <laughs> that's the thinking oh I, maybe it was this one where i said i don't think he knows his uh, it was that one it was that one okay this guy never understood his position lol he's making the case for the people of the uk thank god scrap the royals yeah this guy doesn't understand all right so let's continue with her thread after the disastrous royal caribbean tour i will expect some soul search i was wrong <laughs> I, I swear these people don't get the foundation of stuff when they see people are uh, uh, cheering for another royal the only takeaway that they get is the finished product okay the finished product of the adoration that they're getting they think it's the clothes or if it's the makeup it's the hair is this is that when in fact it's the little thing the hard work behind the scene that lead them to the finished product that makes them being a door harry and megan but these cambridges they don't get it's the foundation of stuff that get people to love people for them they just want to see the finished product Okay, the hard work behind everything, they don't want to do it. Thank you. Nice to see you again. I was just looking at, she's been a while since I last visited. So 
Um, yeah, it's definitely when when things get back to normal, I'd love to come and say hello to the team and everyone down there as well. I think it was 2012 that you were uh, last year. No. Uh, it only seems like yesterday, Graham. It shows you how quickly time goes. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. Before someone says it, I'm sure this isn't true. Does this make sense? Quote, the du <laughs> she is quoting now. The Duke and Duchess want to go by Wills and Kate, as they said, to drop royal formalities in a bid to keep the monarchy modern. It's been reported. Oh my goodness. End quote. William Friends and Mouthpiece didn't write this. <laughs> Okay, Prince William does not want Harry at Queen's Platinum Jubilee, Royal Source says. So this been her archive. Okay, I'm not gonna read any uh, article. Okay, this guy, that's my comment to that. This guy never understood his position, lol. He's making the case for the people of the UK. Thank God, scrap the royals. Okay, they're not trying to do things the Cambridge's way. They're trying to do things the Sussex's way. Even the name thing is copying, quote, just call me Harry, and quote, the smaller staff straight from Harry and Meghan. It was three years ago, so they feel like that's enough, <laughs> that's enough time to copy and the royal voters praise them. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, copying the Sussex's way. First they watch you, then they hate you, then they copy you. Pretty much Harry and Meghan understand the hard work behind things. It's not the title uh, that makes you uh, people to like you it's not the word royal this is why they strip them of the HRH this and that so they don't want people outside of the UK to call them uh, royal highness or something like that so Harry was like service is universal so you could take it away that's not gonna change like what he said at the Invictus it's your character okay it's your character that is the important part here and his brother prince uh, harry's brother doesn't have that this is what he should be copying harry's character try to get this into his core but he's not getting it okay it's not an illogical but i did laugh when i read it clearly we will be getting fan fiction stories until the jubilee then it will be stories about first meeting snob and duty Harry and Meghan have already gone that route with their quote just Harry and quote and quote call me Meghan and quote request more copycat behavior by the camps to make themselves seem relatable. Okay, I'm wondering if they if they don't see how crazy this look. All right, they never really sit down, go back to the drawing board, and evaluate some of the things that they've done that is not right. One of them is copying the Sussexes and focus on what you like like harry said in the obama foundation when you are doing some sort of a, a charity you go by what you enjoy what you like okay that way you don't show up on a, a charity once a, a a year or whatever once every eight years or something like that and now we're the, the younger generation coming through trying to do it our way because the world has changed so much we believe that by streamlining and by bringing people together in order to affect real positive change is the only way forward and you know it, it, it worked for it worked for previous generations and we will always say yes to to becoming patron of a, of a charity that we that we believe in and that we're incredibly passionate about but i think in today's world you have to be involved with with things that make sense to where your passions lie rather than potentially turning up to a charity once a year so if you like what you're doing find it and focus on that that would be much easier for you these people they don't like anything okay they just want to party this is something that they like just partying and then go on vacation so ha william never understood his position okay good the more the more royalty is eroded away the less it will become why have a royal family if it's not different or supposedly special why brother have princes and princesses kings and queens if you want to start presenting yourself as normal eventually it will become pointless exactly this is the thing that i'm saying he's making the case for the people of the uk okay making the huge decision probably exhausts them and they'll need a holiday now <laughs> <laughs> that is true okay if anything it's because the full name of Catherine isn't sticking for kate mumberton but the bullshit is strong with this one <laughs> there's this okay copying harry and megan again there's that i wonder if they realize that changing their name doesn't equate to changing their bad attitude there's the thing again it's their core values 
Okay. Okay, blame me. Okay, let's keep using their nickname though. Her Vodovat pals will still never call her Catherine. Okay, that makes sense. They are living in a country where you are Mr. Mordo, a miss. So that makes a lot of sense to me. I can only speak for myself. I mean, uh, was it me, Mrs. or Miss? Other quote, weightings and quote, done solving racism and poverty. They are going to solve names now. <laughs> okay, thank this Sax Corbett Gotha. I think that's their german names people have taken the art of changing their names to a whole new level of stupid and going around in circles if it's from those garbage newspapers i will not put that okay that is the list of their problems copying again mm -mm -mm. okay they will still be supported by taxpayers that's lipstick on a pig it is trash <laughs> revolutionary huh lol there's that i can't even lol next tweet and I think that's a front page uh, of that. Yeah, there's that. Okay, that Sussex influence is undefeated. <laughs> oh, that should have been with the other ones. Okay, just call me Harry. Okay, so that's why I probably put it under the Cambridges. Okay, just call me Harry. Warriors modern shake up. Just William. Cambridge to scrap protocol and use first names on duty. <laughs> okay, well... The thing they work so hard okay they thought they were doing something they work so hard to remove the royal from harry and megan and now <laughs> i swear the kool-aid that they are drinking over there they're spewing nonsense kool-aid and then they buying it themselves i can't believe these people okay let's see here there have been stories for years that the cambridges will often tell people to call them by their first name like since 2011. the first headline was an attempt to slander harry and the second one was an attempt to humanize the cambridges after a terrible tour performance okay i don't know anything about that i just started following the royal family after harry and megan so i don't know the, the history <laughs> that's me too okay i normally agree with you but i thought they were referencing harry okay quote call me harry and quote intro intro to his speech and how well the casual aspect works for sussexes versus attempt by the uh dull drum cambridges what was it um there were some tweets the squad was saying just keep calling her by you know her royal title duchess of sussex megan marco or princess henry uh something like that princess megan because harry is a prince and all of that so now the cambridges felt like because harry uh you know we the sussex squad appreciate harry and megan for who they are not by their names so we go we call them the way that we feel comfortable of calling them so they think this is what will attract people oh my goodness okay this saga just continue to get more crazy every day really the rage monster is really losing it okay calling them by first name is not a modern monarchy they should work and give respect to people the worst part of it all is comment katie kate middleton who put herself in the level of the real royal family the world know your name so to be modern do something like modern people period <laughs> that is true all right my eyes is acting up let me put my glasses on okay many people have stopped bowing to them for long really i don't know i'm not in the uk and i don't follow their their stuff that much for me to know all right many people have stopped bowing to them for long only some old derangers and royalists only bow and curse courtesy to them titles and bowing is not a modern way of changing a monarchy protocols they are now afraid karma <laughs> there's the snake and what's that supposed to do we've been calling him william and he still don't like his ass can't disprove my husband's opinion about the royals when he said quote harry is the smartest and kindest among the royals he's diana's living legacy end quote yeah and this is why they separate him whoever the mastermind between harry and and, and william to separate them this is the the next smartest person in the royal family and i know i've already give you my opinion who that person is okay because they do not want popularity of william mm. if harry was there popping him up do things with him in terms of royal duties and all of that okay they will be well like so they divide them okay and then they get rid of them 
Okay, undefeated and dead, but are those too serious? Everything that Harry and Meghan do, they copy and paste it as their own. They still don't get why people prefer Harry and Meghan more. All right, there's the bone and score. We'll use any gimmick for attention, but we'll never put forth a heartfelt project. Everything with them is either cosplaying or performative said okay it doesn't matter how they are addressed in public peter see authenticity and graffiti toward it people like individuals who are interested in them it is tough to change behavior at a certain age yeah it's very tough i don't know this is what i'm saying it's the character even if he tried to copy harry's character that's gonna be very hard because it's not part of him okay it looks like they are reading the military people ig and twitter posts <laughs> probably <laughs> probably so true because ev the Invictus was so very successful and people are thanking them and all of that so they're telling the true thing behind the scene the things that we didn't see at the Invictus so some of those people who come across who had the privilege of meeting Harry and Meghan they share their experience on Twitter so that this I truly believe okay they are rather slow to learn and understand aren't they okay my goodness how old is william 40 he still haven't learned a damn thing of all people between him and harry he should have been the one who understand the position that he's in and then the situation that happened to his mom it seems like harry you know is the only one who able to understand and then william is easily influenced by negativity okay for him to come out and call his mother a paranoid what the f Okay, when he was the older one who saw firsthand what his mom was going through. Okay, she was marked endlessly for protocol breaking, even closing her car door. Kate must be relieved she does not have to walk behind William and it will be okay for, the, for her to shake hands ahead of him. Uh, it's weird copying people you claim not to like. <laughs> there is a word for jealousy oops let's see here but 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 she must be called Catherine according to her vow and deranged friends there's this hello billy bully willy wally toby katie caddy copy kate wady katie oh, these are all the names okay laughing my ass off uh the derangers won't like this at all because those people really value those protocol titles and tiaras i've seen comments where they cry about how the Cambridges are the real royals. There's the rolling eye, but now their faves don't want to be associated like that clown behavior. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, and they're freaking embarrassed. Okay, Prince Harry is the trailblazer in the family. His older brother is always distant second. Okay, I'm reading a lot of good comments. Then I hope people stop getting angry when Kate isn't referred to as Duchess of Cambridge. Okay, to be frank for for too long these people have been able to make up and print alleged stories that in effect are their own friction and now treat their stories with disdain what did uh, dan wooden say some of the leaks usually come from the royal family the royal family are the one who usually leak to the press okay so i believe dan wooden when he said that okay wow and for them to come out with the chess high to say that they probably feel like this is the best thing to do because this is what ha people call harry and megan okay and then for catherine on the other hand who's been living a normal life not like william at, at a palace with uh, with protocol and all of that i can believe she doesn't understand the basic of human dignity this kind of thing but then again i did a video where i said this is they train her to be that way because this is how uh, uh uh what is it the royal family pretty much in the 1700s or 1800 wanted their wives to be so she's the perfect person for that position but they got what they wanted but they don't like it they prefer megan and at the same time they try to change megan to be like catherine oh my god these people are crazy <laughs> the sussexes had to put a stop to the craziness it said i can be what you want me to be i am who i am and take it or leave it and then they left okay that part Okay, day late and a dollar short. The world already seen the reality. Yep, that's for sure. And each time I think about this, I'm thinking about uh, Tina and Michelle. When I first came across them, 
one of the things they keep on saying, leave Megan alone, leave Megan alone, they never stop. And this is what got so many people open their eyes and look deeper. The facade that they had put where the world adore them, okay, has crumbled. People see the, the true thing behind their nonsense. Okay, I had to scroll to see your first tweet about this because I thought no way this is real. Okay, I thought she was to be called Catherine. There's the thinking face. She is. Everyone calls her Kate. And while I'm Team Sussex, I still try to call her that. It's just basic respect. I mean, that's her name. Kate, Catherine, whatever. That being said, I've called her Kate myself. But yeah, I think they were going for Catherine the Great theme. <laughs> okay, the British media marked the idea that Harry and Meghan were going to change the monarchy in a big way. Love to see it as it happened. Okay, precisely. At first, they say she will help modernize the royal family. Then later, how dare she think she can change things? Her power. Of course, they won't want to acknowledge it. But those who have been here from the beginning are amazed at the impact. Just two years. It is immense. That's very definitely. Is that the modernizing the royal family? It is indeed her power. Kay said a thing before. Megan to help modernize the royal family, said British media. How? People fight change. Reforming all establishment requires courage, boldness, and bravery. Yeah, again, that's some of the thing Harry have said at the Invictus. Okay, and not only that, when Harry was leaving the the war family to go meet Meghan in Canada, he said something in that uh, aspect where he said he thanked the people, thank you for giving me the courage uh, to look what's right or something like that. I'll put the clip. He says something in that sense. There's the clip. Together, you have given me an education about living. And this role has taught me more about what is right and just than I could ever have imagined. We are taking a leap of faith, so thank you for giving me the courage to take this next step. Okay, all God needs to be on board. Megan and Harry had to step bravely into the unknown to open doors for reform. It could not be done within. That is true. This is very true. Ask her while we'll have a field day with this. Okay, let the history book accurately portray these dramatic influxes of change within the royal family and tell it accurately. For when the books portray this period as they will, Harry and Meghan, uh, Duke and Duchess of Sussex action words picture will carry the story of how she came and positively changed the firm in two years. That's for sure. But the thing is that if the Sussex squad, again, I have to put Tina and Michelle in the forefront. If they didn't the automatically see the BS that was going on in the UK and counteract with the narrative, we will not see this kind of thing. We would have thought it is we will take the, the, the tabloid at face value. Okay? So well people look at me. I didn't even know the Sussex Squad were existed like two or three years prior. I didn't even know, but it took me long enough to figure out this is bullshit, what they're doing over there, okay? There's no way someone who just married into the royal family and everything that you're reading about her is negative, okay? When she's been living in U.S. and Canada for like 30 plus years, there's no way a few seconds going over there to the U.K., you're hearing all those negativity. She's been living in the U.S. and, and Canada, you don't hear a damn thing about her anything negative and everything that she's been doing were positive stuff so how could all of automatically be a negative all right so it opens people's eyes all right and they're actually making her more powerful okay and then because she resists okay it she and her husband resist the narrative that they were trying to portray her okay wonder what all those derangers deplorables and imbeciles think about this new just william let's see what they hadn't heard of this change after marking heavy for the past two years okay omg what a copycat see couldn't come up with their own ideas now i hope they will call them out for breaking protocol too okay scrap protocol wow what will the protocol police do and how how will they earn a living lol they really are the languages all right there's more comment i'm gonna stop now okay there's a lot let me go to the next tweet next tweet okay i think i'm gonna make this section um 
one by itself because it's I'm already 40 minutes and I think uh, the first pot was already 40 minutes and I added more to this so I'm not gonna add them together okay Charles B like no if I have to wait 99 years you will too <laughs> there's this William Beggs make me king <laughs> I don't know this probably just nonsense but my goodness can you imagine that if that was true look at his dad <laughs> I always say, maybe he, he's been waiting to be king when he's about to sit at the throne. He's probably getting a heart attack, being so happy, and he didn't even get to enjoy it. He will Paris tunnel, Charles, you watch. Okay, I've said some pills are being lined up. Uh, uh, uh. What? I saw this on the other day, the drama. What's going on now? Okay, Kate and mom, Carol, not talking for three months. Kate can't take any more humiliation. Well, that's her undoing. Okay, fight over Charlotte. We can visit. <sighs> that, that's their problem. Okay, people are putting more tabloid than here. Where is Julie been for the past 10 years? Why I've disappeared for 10 years. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Good Old Woman's Day. Definitely one of Australia's most creative gossip magazine. Okay, what are they saying here? Okay, and takes the crown. Oh my God, these people are crazy. Charles blindsided by a new betrayal. <laughs> Those people are crazy. What is that now? Fergus shocked the rest, taking away in a uh, paddy wagon. Oh my God. Uh, but anyway, official divorce. Oh, now they're doing that. <laughs> well, exclusive Charles and Camilla officially divorced. How one email changed the course of royal history. <laughs> what is that? Uh, oh, they point out because one day she didn't wear her ring. She worked so hard to be at that position. There's no way she's going to let Charles go. Okay, William is so hungry and greedy. I don't think he's going to let Charles reign long. Uh, he's going to manage to release some dirt story about him and push him out. When bed is gone, Harry and Meghan will thank God for leaving the kingdom on time. Willie isn't as clever as Charles. It will be fun to watch. <laughs> All right, let me move on to the next one because uh, I'm almost an hour. And I don't think I'll be editing this today. Today's Mother's Day. All right. Hmm. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's new home... Adelaide Cottage looks nice. Is this part of the slam down royal family? Peter Townsend and his wife lived there before they divorced and he proposed to Princess Margaret. That didn't end well. Oh, really? Is that the... Wow. Okay, isn't this third home? People have been struggling to keep food on the table. This announcement could have been timed better. Well, they don't care. Yeah, they don't care. That's true. They don't care. Let's see here. The Royal are bringing out the gold carriage for the first time in 20 years for the Platinum Jubilee, while pensioners are riding buses uh, just to keep warm. Just to keep warm. They don't care at all. Yeah. Okay, I read this somewhere. Where did I read this? So someone probably tweeted out. Maybe it's that tweet. Okay, there's the laugh. I'm always happy when I remember Harry spawn Diana's ring for the watch with William. Yep. Okay, Charlie didn't love her enough to buy her anything with love. Okay, Charlie was cool. Nothing's changed. Harry is the first world I know of who has every book and free of that sordid mess. Okay, how many bathrooms does it have? <laughs> I see why she said that. <laughs> they all carry the scent of rose water. Okay, <laughs> rose water. Okay, Mr. Optimistic. The whole mess is not exactly heading down the yellow brick road. <laughs> Maybe you'll get a replacement. There's plenty like me to be found. There mongers who ain't got the penny sniffing the tidbit like you on the ground. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, let, <laughs> get this. let me move on. Oh my God. All right. What the hell? Uh, uh, uh. What? What is that? Oh, this is freaking stupid. <laughs> okay, let me move on. All right, so I'm done. Let's do a prayer. Okay. Prayer. That's the Sussex's, Sussex Squad prayer. All right. Before I do the prayer, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. And if you want to join this channel to help support it, please join.
All right, this is one of the squad prayer. Pray for Haz, Meg, Archie, and Lily, and Miss Doria. Lord, thank you for a new day. Please protect, bless the Sussexes and their community, their supporters and loved ones, partners and employees. Destroy all wicked plans against Harry, Megan, Archie, Little Bit, Diana, and Miss Doria. Miss Doria, give them your daily supply of blessing, grace, and victory. In Jesus, amen. All right, there's this. Okay, this is another prayer. I will make of you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great. You will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. And I will curse him who curses you. All of the families of the earth will be blessed in you. Genesis 12, 2 to 3. All right, so that's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link in the description. You donate it. Those who have donated, thank you. And you could join this channel to help support it. All right, so that's it. Thank you for watching.